Hello everybody, it's Darth Shockwave here. Uh, well, I'm here for the last of my Biontech reviews so far. Uh, you remember a while ago I said I'm waiting for some retro labels to arrive? Well, this morning they finally arrived. And I'm finally able to complete the long-awaited Biontech slash Alternators review that I promised you since November. And here it is. Alternators Hot Rod. And uh, doesn't, doesn't he look nice? Nice bright red fiber colour scheme. Transforms into a Ford GT40 or GT50. One of those two. Either way, it's very fast, very nice car, very sporty. And it suits Hot Rod to a T. I ordered some repro labels back in November and they finally arrived after like two emails and things like that. Uh, the repro labels, all these flame decals added on here. And down the side here. And on the tail, the spoiler there. I think it personally, make, personally, I think it makes it look a lot better than it did. A lot more colourful, and just overall improves the look of the toy. Now it has the usual biotech refinements: false for the rubber tyres, movable steelable wheels, opening doors, and opening boot. It's all very tightly packed as well. You can actually still buy this online, which is quite surprising because I thought this was a uh, Comic Con exclusive, but it turns out it's not. So you can buy this for about nearly £30 online, which is a really good price. I got mine for about 25 at Memorabilia, and I am quite pleased with it. You know, it's a nice vinyl tech. Looks great as a car. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like as a robot in a bit. Does look very nice. Uh, suits Hot Rod to a T. I think the only other car that could have been spit or better suited for Hot Rod probably would have been a Ferrari. Uh, oh, yeah, also has uh, reflect reflective stickers in the wing mirrors. Four mirrors. So, there we go, as you can see here. Looks very nice. So, let's go transform him. Uh, this one's uh, a lot of things to fade tight on this. I mean, you can start by opening the door straight away. Sorry about that. There you go, open the doors. Then open the engine compartment. Take out a bit of the engine. That comes in handy later on. Now you got to open up the bottom panels down here. And then move in some panels on the abdomen and that loosens the whole car up fold in the seats on the inside and just unhook the legs from the back and, move, and then you just basically unfold them take out the rear spoiler not the spoiler sorry, the rear exhaust and twist them around You can see how the design of this Transformer influenced the design of a uh, classic Sideswipe and Sunstreaker. There we go. And we should move them down. Make Move the wheels around. Twist the waist. And then you unfold the feet. Feet around the back. Got nice big chunky feet as well. Again, this thing's vibrating quite a lot. Once again, we've got to do the front. This is where it gets a little bit more tighter, I think. You've got to move, detach the arms practically, and feel like they're going to break. But don't worry, they don't. And then just move the front of the car to the side. Fold out the arms. Not the complicated one. It's not overly complicated, but it's just a little bit awkward. When it's starting to take shape, the doors have to be folded down in the back, like that. Now there's these orange panels here that have to be 
move forward and angles so his chest can lock in place. You just take the chest and plug these tabs into the side. They only plug in ever so lightly. And last but not least, just move the engine bit up to the There we have him. His engine becomes two guns. Split it apart. Open up the handle on one of them. Swing out another bit on the other one. And there you go, his two guns. Just like the original G1 toy had two guns as well. And behold, Hot Rod in all his robot glory. Uh, he does look quite nice like this. He looks, you know, a lot of the flames still once again show up. He's got some more flames around the wrists here. Color scheme is very nice. There's a few more orange bits and yellow bits showing off. Uh, he does look a lot like Hot Rod. Even the head is quite hot. Is hot rod like. Also has a little feature on the head. You lift up this maroon bit. You can move down this transparent fiber, just like he had in the movie. These legs are coming again. Hang on a second. Let's just correct hot rod. So from the front, he looks very nice. However, the back is a different story altogether. It's a bit of a mess around the back because you've got all this kibble here. You've got the two doors hanging off, and he's got all the entire roof of the car hanging down, hanging in his back. And it's a lot of kibble in there. It's quite a mess, unfortunately. But that's the only downside to a very decent vinyl tech. It's not the worst, but it's not the best. That's my opinion. Uh, it is a very, very, very good representation of a very popular and very decent character. So if you are looking for a Biontech slash alternate hot rod, this is the one to get. There is a Biontech one out there, but it's in the Kiss players line, and it's like very, very, and very expensive. I don't know how much these are. Though are these are these days? Uh, I'll just put the two guns in his hands. Actually, the guns have got nice tabs in them, so they can just fit straight in. If they'll let me. Once again, it's got two different sized guns like the original G1 toy had. There we go. It's got a longer gun, the smaller gun. I think it's the only Biosec along with Mirage, of course, whose engine splits in half to form two guns. And it suits him, looks nice. I personally prefer this one over the Mirage mold, simply because of the character and uh, I like the colour red as well. So yeah, it's a nice one. The flames look very nice. Yeah, if you're going to get the replica label stickers though, be warned, the gold flames are already painted on the chest. Don't match all up with the flames that you'll get from replica labels. So as you can see here, the gold flames are still underneath because I didn't realise they didn't match up. It's not so bad because they look like after flames. So if you're going to get this toy, and if you're going to get the replay rules, just paint the chest red, and paint the top here red as well. That's all, and then they'll, then there won't be any gold flames left on there. Uh, it doesn't matter if the red doesn't match up because the flames will take the focus away from the red colour. Oh, that's my opinion, anyway. Yeah, highly recommended. It's, as I can say, um, articulation. We'll go into that full a bit as well. Got full articulation in all of it. You know, usual biotech shoulders, elbows, knees, waist, hips, head, feet. Very nice articulated. Highly recommended, definitely. Uh, probably be my last biotech review unless I get Sunstreaker soon or any others. But yeah, to carry on the biotech reviews, I've done this one for you. Um, anyway, I'm running out of time now, so. Hope you all enjoyed this review. Uh, this is Dark Shockwave. Till next time, over and out. Bye.